Hey, what's up, y'all? This is TC, and thanks for tuning in to TC Time. What we're going to do today is we're going to... Last week, I released a video on the one powerful PVC pipe pressure washer. New invention, air plus water equals pressure washer. That's the name of the video. That's where I demo this gun. So if you want to take a look at how this gun works, just go to my playlist, the King's Gun Series, and I do a little 50-second demo. For everybody that wants to know how to make it, this is the build it video. Alright, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take an inch and a quarter T. You're going to cut off almost flush to there, and you're going to cut off to the second barb right there. This will be in the, in the sprinkler section at your hardware store, inch and a quarter. And on the inside, we're going to go ahead and put three quarter inch threads. Then you're going to buy a three quarter inch plug, drill a hole in the middle, put some threads in it with your quarter inch tap. That's one of these. On your quarter inch tap, tapped hole, you're going to put threads on a quarter inch PVC pipe, which this is a shark bite, shark bite pipe. Then you're going to take your, your pipe and you're going to reverse thread it back through the hole. Real important to get this, this hole right in the middle. Whenever you get it right where you want it, you're going to take a quarter inch ball valve. This is, there's two pieces on this gun that's not, that's not PVC and the ball valve for your air, I feel like it's important to go ahead and get a good one just because that's the only thing on the whole gun that's going to hold any type of pressure whatsoever. And you're going to screw that onto there and back it up till it's tight. Okay, so that's what you got so far. Then, on the short side of your hose barb, inch and a quarter hose barb, you're going to put your pipe, we're going to call this a power pipe, and you're going to screw that into right there because we've already made the threads on the inside of this T-fitting. Then, you're going to take a three-quarter inch, I used uh, Schedule 40 electrical con conduit, but it's, it's PVC, and you're just going to slide over the top of, of your quarter inch shark bite fitting, and it's going to be just like that right there. Then, what you're going to do is you're going to take a three-quarter inch coupler, you're going to slide that over the top, or the end of your the barrel of your... Of your uh, Schedule 40 PVC pipe, all right? So there we go, that's about what, what, what it's supposed to look like right there, okay, at this point. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, now, you don't have to do this part. You can, you can just get a gate valve, just like this, a cheap PVC. Uh, this actually, I didn't pay anything for it. I got it for free um, with some chemicals that I buy at my detail shop, but they sell them, they're about five bucks, and you can, you can screw it in right there. Okay, now if that's comfortable for you, that's all you got to do for your water inlet. Me, I personally like a little bit longer handle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and extend this out just a little bit by, I cut another piece of that Schedule 40 PVC pipe. And I'm going to go ahead and insert it right there and I'm going to screw it in right there. Then remember the piece that I told you not to throw away, the piece that we cut off the back right here? We're going to... We're going to thread that. Now, if you don't want to make threads, you can just buy a one-inch coupler, and that'll do just fine. So go ahead and put that on the end of the pipe. Just like that right there. Then you, then you can go ahead and put, put in your valve. Now, this is a gate valve. One thing I, I did notice on the gate valve is that the gate valve allows a little bit more water flow than a standard uh, inexpensive ball valve. Uh, now on this gun right here, instead of going through the whole process and, and buying all the things, I was trying to save money. It, instead of going from the valve, you know, on this gun I went valve, cu uh, nipple, coupler, nipple, garden hose adapter. You know, and that's like that's expensive just just to go from there to there. 
uh, but by going with the 40, this 45 degree brass fitting right here that I used on this gun, it cut out all those parts that I had to buy. Now the only disadvantage of that is look how small that hole is right there. It doesn't allow very much water to come through. And I did notice a performance difference between the PVC gun and the original brass King's gun. So I did come up with a workaround on that. If you, if you wanted to go ahead and still go that route, go ahead and uh, buy you a Y adapter for, for a garden hose and get you some washing machine lines and put one on each one of these and then open them both up. Do the same thing to the end of your garden hose and you have two water lines come in so it doubles the uh, amount of water that's getting into your gun. Or you can buy the gate valve. If I was going to rebuild this thing from scratch, I would probably buy a really nice, expensive brass gate valve. But we were trying to cut down costs on this one, so that's what, what I went with. Alright, so after you do that, that's, that's your water supply, and that's really all you need to do. Now we've got our power pipe instead of inside of our outer, outer pipe. Got our coupler on the end. And by the way, if uh, Denver Prater is out there watching today, he uh, sent a question to me and asked if it was all right to just go down to a three quarter inch thread pattern on your sweeper nozzle. That's this is a brass sweeper nozzle. I buy I buy these at Ace Hardware. Instead of going from this and converting this over to garden hose threads, could you just go to this? And the answer is yes, you can. It really works out actually pretty good on, on the PVC threads, but on a metal thread pattern, you're going to get leaks and you're going to just have to seal it up. But the whole reason why that I, I didn't go ahead and go that route, I'll show you here in a minute. So we're going to slide that back on right there and screw that back together. After you do that, you're going to get, uh, this is a nylon three quarter inch to uh, international pipe threads to garden hose thread adapter and we're just going to go ahead and screw that into our coupler. Alright, now then, you got your inner pipe. Actually, after you screw all this together tight, this uh, inner pipe is going to look just like this right here. Okay, now I put a little red nipple on the end of this because it was just an experiment that I was trying. Uh, it worked all right, but you don't have to do that because I've tried it without it and it works It works fine too. But anyways, your, your uh, little nipple's gonna stick out right to the end. So whenever you're cutting your, your power pipe, just keep in mind you want it to stick out just a little tiny bit. Then you're going to screw on your, your brass garden hose sweeper nozzle. Now, if you haven't watched the uh, pressure washer nozzle video, go ahead and watch that to learn how to make this. And screw that on right there. Then when you're done, you can take a another nylon hose, hose barb sprinkler section in your department store. And you can slide it right over the tip like this. Now, this particular nipple that I have on here, if you buy this one and shape it up, what you're going to end up is a, is a wide spray pattern, okay? Uh, this is really nice, it's like, a, it's like a water knife. Get a nice big volume spray for a large area of washing, but if you're wanting a little bit more power to your, to your uh, stream, all you got to do is slide up, is turn it around and go and cut it off at the smaller end and it's going to look like that right there. This is the one that I usually use at work for washing and I have a nozzle like this that I use for rinsing. Alright, well that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed it. That's start to finish on a PVC gun. I, like I said, this this gun costs around 40 bucks to make. So, hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any questions, Leave a comment in the comment section. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. Uh, 
I really want a community page. I don't, I'm not going to be able to get it till I have a thousand subscribers. So I'm going to ask in every video, if you'll subscribe to my channel, it'll help me out. Uh, I'm sharing all this for free, not getting paid a dime. And if you liked it, please press like, please press subscribe and get notified for future videos. Uh, just kind of give everybody an idea. This is going to be a future project. We got a, this is going to be a foam cannon. Um, also a pressurized water tank. We're going to add a brush attachment to our gun. And that's why we, I want to go ahead and convert my threads at the end of my pipe from garden hose or from international pipe threads to garden hose, because you can take off your nozzle and screw this sucker on without doing anything different. All you do is just buy the brush, screw it on, and you got to, you have a power brush. Thanks a lot. We'll uh, see you next time.